action. In the year 2020, roughly 620,000 babies were executed prematurely and sent to go see Jesus in heaven. Some parents said goodbye because I don't have the emotional ability, the financial ability, or I simply don't want this child. And that is an action of hate. And so if you are a parent, I want you to go find your child right now, wrap your arms around your child, look your child square in his or her eyes and say, I love you with all of my heart. That's why you are here. And while you are here, I'm going to have discipline in your life. I'm going to protect you and guide you to make sure that you grow up to be the most strongest, most bestest person that you can, because I love you, because love is an action, because love is about duty and responsibility. It's not a feeling. It's not, oh, my baby makes me feel so good. Oh, my baby is my hero. No, I'm here to protect my children. I'm here to be a good parent. The action of love is to create. And anything other than that, that's hate. There was a song that we used to sing in church and it said, Jesus loves all the little children, yellow, brown, black, and white. They are precious in his sight. How come in America, the American man and woman do not look at children as precious. We look at we look at children as burdens and we treat them as such. Parents are no longer raising and guiding their children. They're listening to their children. A child says, uh, I want to eat cookies all day. And so parents just let them be little gluttons. And I see all these little fat ass children running around and it, it breaks my heart because I know it ain't that child's fault. It's that parent's fault. It's your fault for letting that child eat all those dang cookies. And I'm saying children run around and they have confused identities. And it's not that child's fault. It's your fault. You put the nasty ass ideas in those children's heads. Hey, every person on the planet, I have ideas. I was raised in the church. I was raised by a mother and a father. And they gave me ideas and those ideas were instilled in me. And I passed those ideas on to my children. There are adult people who are passing down ideas of hate to their babies. How dare we abuse children? In America today, we hate children. And I don't want to hear you argue anything because it's not a message of love. It's not a message of building and growing. No, we're not nurturing our babies. And this is destroying our nation. It makes me cry because I'm looking for strong men. I'm looking for you to stand up and be a hero, man. But this nation is filled with cowards and, and only cowards allow women and children and weaker people to be taken advantage of and to be abused. Strong people stand up and they do what's good. And I hope I pray. I'm asking you. To just hug on your children and love on your children if you are a religious person or do you have a, a relationship with your creator go say a prayer over your children and over your family and over this nation let's pray for all the half a million six hundred thousand however many little babies aren't going to be allowed to see this day go pray for them and for all and for all the little children whose parents are not taking care of them allowing them to consume uh bad information allowing them to just be little gluttons allowing them to be sexual deviants for Pray for those families because right now we're in a spirit of confusion and a spirit of hate. God created life because God loved us. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.